It was a great weekend at the box office with an almost photo finish for the number one spot. Both Gone Girl and Annabelle took in over $30 million on their opening weekends, far exceeding October averages and initial projections with Ben Affleck barely edging out the creepy little doll. Gone Girl took the number one spot at $38 million and Annabelle took the number two spot just behind it at $37.2 million. In third place was Denzel Washington's film The Equalizer with $19 million. In fourth place was Box Trolls dropping only 28% from its opening week with $12.4 million. And rounding out the top was The Maze Runner continuing its strong run with $12 million. John, your thoughts on the weekend box office? I mean, it's great. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is a great October weekend. Yeah. For, and I'm really happy for two films in particular on here and that's Denzel Denzel Washington's Equalizer, which I really liked. I, I like the Equalizer a lot. I just like it. I loved it. And, <laughs> and so it only dropped uh, 44%, which is great. Yeah. And then Box Trolls only dropped like 28, mm -hmm. 29%, <sighs> yeah. which is so good because that means word of mouth is getting out about it. It's such a charming movie. And if the movie hadn't have succeeded, like I might have shut down. Yeah. These movies yeah. are so expensive, yeah. and so I'm so relieved. What a great marketing campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they did a great job, so I'm really glad to see that shirt drop. And you know, well, if you saw our AMC spoilers review of Gone Girl, you know what I thought of Gone Girl. I love that movie, and I and then the creepy little doll. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talk about some of my past relationships, but I mean, the creepy little doll is there too. So this is a great weekend. Nothing surprising really, except for how s small the drop off was for like Box Trolls and uh, Equalizer, which is really a pleasant surprise. Mira, your thoughts on the weekend results? Yeah, the only surprising thing about the box office this weekend is just how well the first two films did. Gone Girl and Annabelle both outperformed expectations, and it's the second highest box office weekend in, in for this weekend in October, I think, ever. I think the only one that's higher is 2008. High School Musical and mm. something <gasps> else. Exactly. Um, so this is actually a record breaker for October, which is really exciting. And mm. I loved Gone Girl also. I think what's cool, too, about Box Trolls, to go back to that, is it's like his third film, and it's actually performing the best out of the three. So to your point, I hope that it continues, because they make some of my favorite animated films. Gone Girl was amazing. This is Fincher's best film. I mean, it's his best performing film. Oh, yes. Sorry, not necessarily his best film. Ooh. Spines went up all like, over what? America just for a second. No. What? I tell Have you, you not though, seen Seven? I don't, I don't think that's far from the truth, yeah, you guys. It's, I think it's, it's really one of his good. Best. It's really, really it's, solid. It's, it's a close call. Yeah. It's so good. It's so it's beautiful. Top five. Top. What? <laughs> we could have an entire show on placing this in we Fincher's. Don't, yeah. We don't talk about Fight Club. Anyway, it was, it was a really good weekend for Fincher. <laughs> Christian. I'm gonna get punched in the face. Yeah, in the um, yeah I'm just looking for, forward to the crossover between uh, Gone Girl and Annabelle 2. Uh, uh, now look, the, the, the purist film fans obviously came out and drove to see uh, Gone Girl, and as well the Ben Affleck fans. Everyone, it, people went to see that movie because it looked like an engaging film. We are in Oscar season now. We're getting there. Officially. So when, and th so <laughs> that yeah, those film fans absolutely came out, and the horror fans and people who liked The Conjuring went and supported Annabelle. So it's not shocking. Just kind of echoing what you guys said. I like where the three, four, and five spots really yeah. hit because those are yeah. they're all quality movies, all movies that you want to see do well, and mm -hmm. it shows that the audience is going to check out some quality stuff. Anything surprise you about the Oh, results? I can't wait for Equalizer 2. Oh. I just can't wait. I can't believe that Annabelle did that well. I am oh, really? stunned. Oh, I, I, yeah. that I it, mean, that it was, was that close. But I was expecting them both to be, I was expecting Gone Girl and uh, Annabelle to be in mid-20s. And yeah. the fact that they almost hit 40. I was hanging out at the AMC Burbank 16 this weekend doing a bunch of different stuff. And, you know, we would walk into the theater and it's like, the, it wasn't quite Avengers level, but the theater it was yeah. packed. Yeah. yeah. And so we went so over nice. to I went over to one of the, the girls mm -hmm. working the desk. I said, What are people here seeing? And she said, Dead Eve and it's Gone Girl and it's Annabelle. Yeah. Huh. And it was just packed and these are almost hitting forty million each. You know this what I weekend? think it is with Annabelle is that there isn't a lot of there's not a lot of horror choices yeah. for horror fans. And Halloween's right around the corner. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's the I think the biggest horror release that I can remember coming out in theaters in a little while. So we, we had a really lousy summer as yeah. horror movie fans because yeah. none yeah. of it panned out. Yeah. So I get it. I didn't get a chance to see it and I'm sad because yeah. I have my creepy little Annabelle who sits next to I my can't desk. Even talk but let's about not okay. Forget, uh, but let's not forget about the fact that it is a spin-off to a very successful, successful yeah. horror film. And people, Which, and, know, also, not, and also and great. Put, 
Was it? Yeah, they put I the like conjuring, conjuring in the title. I loved it. Look, you guys know that I'm not the biggest horror guy. I loved the conjuring. Conjuring was great. Loved so it. scary. Um, it, cool. And I, because of that and because of what it did, I'm not shocked that it made the numbers that it did. Okay, so I got to tell you the story. So every once in a while, the studios will send out little marketing tools <laughs> to us in the film journalism world. And so I, I'm guessing you're talking about the same thing I got. Got the, this big package on my door, oh my right? God. Big, tall box package. And you open it up, and it's a glass case. Yeah. And in the glass case, it says, "Under no, do not open under any circumstances. Evil resides within." Right? And there's so of course this big, you open it. and there's a big Annabelle doll, right? Yeah. So what my wife Anne did, <laughs> she took that case and put a giant Darth Tater, you know, Mr. Tater had <laughs> dressed as Darth Vader, <laughs> and put that in, and it's sitting on her desk at Hasbro. Yeah, it says, funny. "Warning: Evil resides within." It's one of the funniest things ever. That's why we love her. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.